For some reason, even though I've got a really big fear of spiders, this is one of those looks I've been planning to do for over a year, so today I'm going to show you how to make it, and it really isn't as difficult as it looks. First thing we're going to start off with is how to make those spider legs. Here's one of the legs I made earlier, and what they're made out of is, you know those little stuffing things that you sometimes get in packages just to stop the contents inside rattling around? I'm going to be using those, and what I like about these is that they're very easy to mould into a different shape, and they also stick together very well when you just use water as a glue. So I've squished them down the centre, and then on the outside I've left it stick out a little bit more, and I've created a joint just with the end of a paintbrush. Now I'm going to keep doing this three times for the longer legs and then just two times for the shorter legs. With a little bit of water you can easily stick these together and once it's dry it really isn't going anywhere but if you're not sure about it you can just use a regular glue that will be fine as well. And then for the ends of the leg I'm just going to cut it down with a pair of scissors. To tint the legs I'm going to be using a pan pastel but if you don't have a pan pastel you can also use an eyeshadow that will work just as well. And then I'm going to be using a black pan pastel for the joints. Now if you don't have anything like this you can use a watercolour but bear in mind that this will make the leg shrink so you have to be quite careful and it won't really fill in the leg as well as using something like a powder. Now for the eyes what I'm going to be using is a paper clay and the reason I want to use a paper clay is because it's very very light. You don't want something that's going to be too heavy and hard to stick down. So once they've dried and I've painted them I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and I'm going to be working from the face chart that I made ages ago and I should really have done ages ago as well but I'm doing it now. Now I'm going to stick the eyeballs down as well as the legs, but first thing I need to do is figure out where exactly I want to place them. I'm also going to have a pair of legs coming out of my hair, so what I'm going to do is hot glue one of the legs onto a hairpin so that that way I can hide it in the hair and no one can see the very bottom of it. Then I'm going to take a white eyeliner and I'm going to draw out where exactly I want to have the eyeballs and the legs. Now if you change your mind later on, that's fine, you can easily wipe it away. So I'm going to take a little bit of latex, put it at the bottom of the legs or the eyeballs, wait for the latex to become tacky, you can't just apply the latex and then stick it directly on the skin. Do wait for it to become a bit more sticky and then put it down on the skin and it should hold just fine. Same for the legs, I'm going to dip it into this little pot where I've poured the latex, wait for it to become tacky and then I'm going to stick it down and it will hold without a problem. If you don't have latex you can also use an eyelash glue and you can also wiggle your eyebrows as well if you want to make the legs move. And for the last two legs, what I ended up doing was hot gluing them onto a hair twirl so that I can just twirl them into the hair and it makes it a lot easier to hide them underneath my hair rather than using a hairpin. After this, I'm going to be using silicone and this is one of the silicones that is already pre-mixed so you don't have to do any fancy mixing, you just pop on the end which is going to mix the silicone for you and then I'm going to use that silicone around the eyeballs and the legs to hide the edges and because it dries very very quickly and I'm a little bit limited with all these legs coming out of my head I'm just going to be using the nozzle to flatten out the edges and blend it into my forehead and then I'm going to be using another pre-mixed silicone and this one's got more of an irritated red tint because I want to make the skin look very irritated you have eyeballs and spider legs coming out of your skin your skin is not going to look pretty so once I've done that I'm going to be taking a bit of an irritated pink colour and I'm going to be dabbling this around the legs and the eyes Like a preacher's daughter, but my thoughts in order. If I'm moving forward, I've been looking at Finally, I'm going to be using a blood paste, and this is going to go around the very edges of the eyeballs and the legs. If you don't have a blood paste, that's fine. You can also use fake blood or red food colouring. And then that's it. You're done.